Hey everyone, welcome to Gentle PSD. I hope you're all having an amazing day. Today in this exciting tutorial we will be learning about how to create this decrypting matrix effect in After Effects. Let's take a look at what we are going to create. That looks super awesome. Before we begin please make sure to hit the subscribe button and bell icon for more amazing tutorials like this. Without any further ado let's begin. Create a new composition. I will name it as command. Width is 1920 and height is 1080 pixels. 30 frames per second. Time duration is 30 seconds. Click OK. Take the text tool over here and type in whatever you like, since we are going to writing some command to our satellite, I will type in this. Press V to change to move tool, as you see our anchor point is at the corner of our text, press Ctrl Alt and Home, to bring it to the center, place our text over here. We will type in two more command for us to animate. Again press Ctrl Alt Home, to bring the anchor point to the center. Once you done align all three sentences, we will start animating our text one by one, hide the other two layers for now. Now click here and go to animate, then press on the arrow key, select character offset. Open the animator like this and zoom in on the timeline to get a good view of the frames. Go to character offset and change it to 30. Now take the indicator to 1 second and keyframe the start. Change it to 0. Again take the indicator to 2 second duration and change the scale back to 100%. I want our animation to start at 1 second, you can change it if you want. Let's play it and see the magic. As you see our animation starts at 1 second and it looks good. We will now change the frequency of our decryption text by keyframing the character offset. Take the indicator to the beginning and keyframe the character offset. Again take it to 2 second and change the offset to around 60. This will give us that increasing decryption transition. Let's play it again. That looks better. You can change the animation start time by dragging our start keyframe closer to the start. Our animation looks stiff and cut sharp, we will ease it by highlighting all the keyframes and right click on it. Go to keyframe assistant and select easy ease, or you can press F9 on your keyboard to apply it. Now that looks perfect. We will do the same exact effect on rest of the layers. Go to animate and select character offset. Highlight all the keyframe and select F9 to easy ease. Again do the same step for our final layer.
Once you done, let's play it. That looks super good. But as you see, all three layers at start animating at the same time, we need it to animate one after another, for that we will drag our second layer to where our first animation ends, which is at 2 second duration. Take the top layer to the 4 second duration. We will drag all three layers a little to the right, so our animation will start a little later. Let's play it again. That looks super good. Now we will animate that link connection dots effect. We will remove this three dots for now. Press Ctrl T to bring the text tool and delete it. Again take the text tool and make sure no layers are selected. Type in the three dots and place it where our initiating is. Again press Ctrl Alt Home to bring the anchor point to the center. Now go to Effects Presets Panel and type in Stroke. Take the wiggle stroke width effect and drop it onto our dot layer. As you see our dots are extruded. Go to base stroke and change the color you want. Since we are trying to initiate connection to our satellite we will use green color. Go to animator and click on the add icon. In the property go to fill color and select hue. Now go to more option over here. In the fill stroke option, change it to per character palette. As you see our stroke is disappeared and it is filled with full color. Now go to fill hue and you can change the hue of the chosen color as you want or animate it to give more dynamic. You can increase or decrease the fill color size using the stroke width. Take the indicator to the beginning. Drag the dot layer to where our final text layer animation ends. Let's play it. That looks good, but as you can see that the animation of the dots are slow. To increase it go to wiggly selector, change the wiggle per second to 30. Play it again. Now that looks perfect, we can decrease the stroke size by decreasing the stroke width. You can decrease the animation by using the wiggle per second. That's better. You can remove the unwanted duration by dragging this endpoint to where you want to cut. Right click on it and select Trim Comp to Work Area. Select all the layers and right click on it. Precompose it, I will name it as Satellite Command. You can change the color if you want. Right click on it and create an adjustment layer. Go to Effects Preset Panel. Type in tint, and place it onto our adjustment layer. In the effects control panel change the color you want. That looks good. I will change the color back to normal for this tutorial. We will now change its angle to make it look more realistic. First we will change all the layers to 3D by clicking on this 3D square box. Go to the text layers and do the same. 
in the main comp, right click here and select new, then click on the camera. I will use 50mm camera and click OK. Go to camera and transform. Here you can change the orientation, position and angle of our decryption text, just play with it to get that perfect angle. Once you done with the angle, play it one last time. That looks amazing. We are finally at the end of our tutorial, I hope you enjoyed this video. I will keep posting more amazing tutorials, please look forward to it. If you have any doubt please feel free to comment in the comment section. I will reply to it as soon as I can. Hit the subscribe button for more amazing tutorials like this. Hit the like button if you like this video. Until our next tutorial stay happy, thank you.